climb every mountain. Please note, if your name is mentioned at the bottom, yes, you can go ahead and cheat. Scroll down and look without reading. That's fine. But then see how far you get with the challenge. Smarty pants. It is all in jest. If I forgot your name. Please forgive me. I have a brain injury, you know. Geez, some people's kids. Remember the sound of music? The nun singing that dreadful song, Climb Every Mountain? We're going to do that together right now. So get ready. Try imagining that song right now. How does that make you feel? If you don't know it, go ahead and Google it. I'll let you. It's different, right? Well, good then. That point from here on in may be the last point we agree on. But here goes anyway. Pressure the bonus track by Alan Stone, anyone out there know it? Google it. It's not half bad. You know, sometimes a song speaks to you and sounds like you. Totally you. Just from the music. That's before you even hear a lyric. Then you hear the lyrics, and man, it starts to gel right there in my ears. Damn, someone else feels like me, you say. And he sells records, too, you think. I guess even rich guys suffer from pressure, too? That's what this song does for me. It seems like I'm always asking, what am I going to do with all this pressure? Do I got enough attitude to prove I'm better? Does that resonate with you out there? If it kind of sounds familiar, then you should read on. I promise it gets better. But I am biased. Do people out there even get it? That despite feeling the pressure, they put pressure on others. Everyone is always playing this nicety nice, but damn, are people fickle. They can turn at a moment's notice. Then you hear fall into place by couch and realize that this band speaks to you too. Maybe things really do fall into place. Do people really laugh at their fears and find peace and opportunity? Think about that for a minute. Does that apply to you? Or someone you know? Let it resonate for a bit. It'll come to you. Indecisive for indifference can allow you to shave off the pressure. Maybe Couch and Alan Stone should get together. One is under pressure, and the other one knows the answer to pressure. But then, where does that leave you or me? I knew someone was getting screwed in this group. I was hoping it wasn't you or me. I see now it was. Everything is hard. No biggie there. I'd say we all can agree to that. But do you people dig music as I do? I mean, like, do you listen and hear it? But mostly feel it? It's like a science to me that means so much. While my emotions are cut off, I feel the music. It goes through me differently than before. I know this music I'm bringing to your attention ain't by no means new, but to me, it might as well be. It's like Hannibal Lecter having an old friend for dinner. Some things never change, once we get out on our own, we go for what we know. Makes sense to me. So what about you? Do you take time for music? Is it any part of your life? Let it be. Trust me. But the truth is would you go and take a bite out of a tire? Or eat some gravel? What about someone's booger? Is there a cutoff date for doing stupid things? Or are some of y'all prissy types gasping right now, saying, I can't possibly relate? Think about it there's something in your past that comes up that was stupid. You just won't believe it or allow it to come out. Pris. And let's not talk about what y'all do behind closed doors. How many of you are prisoners of love out there? I know there are more than are willing to admit that one. I also know too many who are married but love someone else. What is up with that? Do people really think they are fooling anyone? Does it always boil back down to pressure? Would we have to run on Duncan or July 11th high-octane coffee if we didn't have pressure? I say, no. I believe the root cause is pressure. 
Name me somewhere in your life that you don't feel pressure at one time or another. I dare you. I bet you you can't. I bet you won't. So why not then let something like music make you feel better? Artists develop music so we can understand the message they want us to get from them. Or they are making music for what sells. You can spot that shitty stuff a mile away. Garbage. Go out of your comfort zone and let loose. Take my advice and pull down your pants and slide on the ice. But don't forget the music. Not the bowling.